Top 10 unnervingly large invertebrates You will never guess what the number one invertebrate is. Like and subscribe for weekly videos. In the comments below, list one topic you think should be in a top 10 video and comment if you subscribe to this channel. Coming from a country where the worst creature I have to face is a near wig, why must they live in the vegetable patch? Comma whenever I go abroad I am always startled by insects, bugs and all manner of other invertebrates that the world has to offer. Coming from Britain I instinctively think of invertebrates as small and innocuous, but the more you study biology, the more this is proved to be false. This list is fairly personal as the term unnerving is very subjective, but I hope there are some entries on this list which are new to you. Here is a list of the top 10 startlingly large invertebrates in the world. 10 Giant Isopod What most unnerves me about the giant isopod is its resemblance to the common woodlouse, to which they are related. The giant isopod lives in the ocean at a depth of 200 to 2000 meters, and scavenge on the ocean floor. While a common woodlouse grows to around 1 or 2 centimeters the giant isopod has been reported up to 60 centimeters in length. There are several species of giant isopod, Bathynomus, found throughout the world but all are almost identical. The giant isopod is thought to have evolved approximately 160 million years ago and changed very little since, they have cornered the scavenging niche and have had no need to change. Because they are scavengers the giant isopod is absolutely no threat to you should you ever see one. They make fairly poor aquarium attractions because they lead such a sedentary lifestyle, shuffling along the floor until they locate food. 9 Japanese Spider Crab The Japanese Spider Crab, Macrochira kempferi, has the longest legs and the largest American monsters can the out of the water. 8 Giant Weta The Giant Weta, Deanacrida heterocantha, of Little Barrier Island in New Zealand are the heaviest insects in the world. Deanacrida means terrible grasshopper though these giant weta bear only the most passing resemblance to grasshoppers. The largest specimen weighed 71 grams, and some can be over 8 inches long. This is an example of island gigantism as the wetter have adapted to fill biological niches filled by small land mammals elsewhere in the world. Giant wetter feed mostly on vegetation but their powerful mandibles can give a painful bite, but this is very uncommon. D. heterocantha is now limited to just Little Barrier Island but other wetter are common in New Zealand. Peter Jackson named his special effects company after wetter, and in his King Kong, Enormous predatory wetter are amongst the creatures lurking in a ravine. 7 Locusts Locusts are giant grasshoppers, there is no real difference between locusts and grasshoppers, only in their swarming ability and size. This entry may leave me open to an accusation of British bias, as other countries will be far more familiar with locusts, but they are larger than you think. I worked with locusts while studying their jumping mechanism, and they are very disconcerting animals. When they fly they make a loud buzzing noise, and when they land on your clothes their feet latch heavily into the fabric making them very hard to dislodge. Being caught in a swarm of them must be very unpleasant. Swarms of locusts can contain billions of individuals, and consume millions of tons of crops as they pass. 6 Lion's Mane Jellyfish The Lion's Mane Jellyfish, Cyanea Capulata, is sometimes stated as the world's longest animal with the largest specimen recorded at 37 meters from bell to tent to the tip. The bell, the body of the jellyfish, contains its entire food. They are located as captures of all three kinds of creatures and are also prone to splash and are the ones that are to the tent. The tentacles cause only mild pain for humans, but, being so long, can catch swimmers unawares. The pain can be lessened by treatment of the site with vinegar, but even this is usually unnecessary. 
The larger the jellyfish grow, the darker they become in color, with the largest specimens being a dark, blood red. Like all jellyfish they move mainly with the ocean currents and are only able to gently pulse to keep them near the surface. 5. Goliath Bird Eating Spider The Goliath Bird Eater is the heaviest spider known, with the largest weighing up to 180 grams. Their 12-inch leg span made them the largest spider known until, in 2008, a giant huntsman spider was discovered in Laos. The Goliath, Theraporsa blondi, is far more common however and is even kept as an exotic pet. It is known as bird eater because, like other large spiders, it will sometimes prey on small birds as well as small mammals and lizards. Their diet is mostly insectivorous but they have sufficiently long fangs to bite humans and they are venomous. Like most tarantulas, their venom is only weakly acting on the humans. When threatened the goliath can make a hissing noise by rubbing its legs together. This may also serve to spread the tiny, barbed hairs which can be very irritating. While I like unusual pets, I am not sure a spider covered in irritating hairs sufficiently large to cover my face is the right pet for me. 4. Giant Sea Spider Sea Spiders, Pantopida, all legs in Greek, are a relatively little known group of organisms. The giant sea spider, Colisseen discolisea, is the largest of these unusual animals at around a foot long. They are not true spiders though they appear to be more closely related to them than any other group. Their bodies are so small that their long legs often contain several of the organs and the gonads of the sea spiders. The intestinal tract often has blind pouches extending into the legs where food may be digested. The giant sea spider feeds mostly on cnidarians, mainly jellyfish and anemones, by sucking out their soft insides with a piercing proboscis. This is probably the most alien-looking invertebrate on the list. 3. Asian Giant Hornet The Asian Giant Hornet is the scariest insect I know of. The giant hornet, Vespa mandarin, is the most deadly animal in Japan, and its sting can prove fatal even to people not allergic to hornet stings, though it usually takes many stings. Each sting is excruciatingly painful. At almost 2 inches long they look very threatening when they hover in front of your face, as I discovered during a picnic. The hornet is a killer of other insects and can devastate a beehive, as they crush all the bees inside with their powerful mandibles before eating the honey and carrying the abdomens back to their own larvae. Japanese honeybees have a defense against the hornet, however. When they detect an attacker they will surround the hornet with their bodies and contract their flight muscles rapidly. Forming a ball around the hornet this muscular activity causes sufficient heat, and produces enough carbon dioxide, to kill the hornet. 2. Giant Centipede The Amazonian monster centipede, Scolopendra monstress, is the primary invertebrate on this rundown which can really make hurt people. The Goliath centipede can be found in northern South America and a few islands. They can arrive at a length of up to a foot. They go after creepy crawlies, insects, reptiles, frogs, fowls, mice and bats. There is something agitating about an invertebrate chasing vertebrates. The centipede is quick and not scared of people. At the point when people are nibbled the chomp in strongly difficult however infrequently causes fatalities. Treatment for the nibble ordinarily includes torment the board and a lockjaw vaccination, just as anti-infection agents to stop disease. I am by and large awkward with little centipedes, so this species is the stuff of bad dream. 1. Colossal Squid What's bigger than a giant squid? The colossal squid is now thought to be the heaviest cephalopod, and is also the largest invertebrate ever recorded. For a long time stories of enormous squid were though to be just sea tales with no more truth than those of mermaids. Now we have several specimens of both the giant squid and the colossal squid. The National New Zealand Museum in Wellington has an exhibition where a 10 meters long specimen can be seen. This creature was caught in 2007, by fishermen in the Antarctic Ocean. Study of specimens seems to suggest that the colossal squid is an ambush hunter which uses bioluminescence to lure in the fish it eats. The large specimen in New Zealand is unlikely to be as large as they can grow. Beaks of colossal squid have been found in sperm whale stomachs which are much larger than the beak of this specimen.